back to my channel and welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a bake with me. But before we get into today's video, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I am doing, and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get into this bake with me video. I am going to be attempting to make a butter pecan bundt cake. Now, if you have been keeping up with me, you know that I am trying to bake more this year. And I thought, why not document the experience so you can do it with me? And we'll see if this is like a fail <laughs> or not. I'm thinking it's not gonna be a fail, but we'll see. We will truly see. So this is what the bunt cake looks like. I'm gonna show you guys here. First, I'm gonna show you what the book is. This is the Black Girl Baking book that I got for Christmas. And this is the butter pecan bundt cake that I'm going to be making. So it requires these ingredients for the bundt cake and the pecan glaze. So I am going to get started on that now. I basically need a cup of chopped pecan halves, which I just bought, and two and a half cups of whole wheat, white flour, baking powder, salt, milk, apple cider vinegar, butter, pure cane sugar, vanilla extract, rum, optional applesauce. So I'm going to get all those ingredients together and I will get back to you momentarily. All righty. So... I, the first step is to put a cup of chopped pecan halves into the oven. The oven is set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So I have my little baking sheet. I'm gonna put it in there for eight to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna put a timer on for about nine minutes. I like to go in between. So we have that, it's at 350. It's just going to toast in there. I am currently trying to soften this butter just a little bit because I need to be able to cream the butter. So I am just boiling water. I put a cup like a little bowl over it so it can soften in a in an easier state and not too much. So just waiting on that. But I have some things portioned out. So I have my flour, my salt is over here, and my baking powder is over here, and then the powder, the flour is in the center. And I have my milk. I'm using oat milk, a cup of this, and then I also have a cup of brown pure cane sugar, just ready. The other ingredients include apple cider, some vanilla extract, a little bit of rum, and some unsweetened applesauce. And yeah, I'm just waiting for the butter because I need to be able to cream this and the sugar together until they become fluffy. So that's like the first thing. I will add in the vanilla and the rum and slowly add the applesauce, beating on medium high until the applesauce is completely mixed in and then turn the speed to low to add the flour mixture in batches alternating with the milk and vinegar mixture until everything is just combined so i am actually going to combine the apple cider vinegar with the milk right now so i have a cup of oat milk and then i need to add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar to the milk. So I have my little tablespoon. I'm going to do that right now. So I've got my apple cider vinegar. Just adding that to the milk. I'm going to set that aside over here. And then the attachment that I have on is the paddle attachment to my hand mixer, stand mixer, whatever you want to call it. And the first thing that are going to go in there are the sugar and the Butter. I'm going to add that along. 
along with the sugar. And make sure that this is locked. It is. And I'm going to... the rest in now and then I'm gonna add the rest of that milk mixture bring it back down lock it in place Oof. and get back to mixing so this is looking really good some coconut oil that I'm going to use to oil this bunt pan. <laughs> All right, so I have 30 minutes on the clock and I just placed the bun cake into the oven and just clean this entire area because that is the perks of baking. So I will check in with you guys shortly. And just like that movie magic, all the dishes are done. This is fully cleaned. Let me unplug that. And all the dishes are drying in the dishwasher. I'm a person who uses the dishwasher to dry my dishes. I don't actually use the dishwasher, but yeah, everything is clean and we only have about 10 minutes left. So that took me about 20 minutes. And this stuff is to make the glaze. So I am going to work on this glaze. Like, I'll let this come out because it needs to cool and I'll show you guys that when it comes out. But to do the glaze like this, I'm gonna wait um, to do it. So I'm not gonna do it like right away because I don't wanna put like hot on hot. I, yeah, I definitely want it to like cool so that it's not just like seeping into the sponge of the bundt cake. All right, the bundt cake is ready. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna borrow Melanie's. Oh, I put it over here. And take this out. Whew. And we're gonna do the fork test. If it comes out clean. I would say that's pretty clean. Uh, parts of it are clean, parts of it are not. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it needs like a few more minutes. I'm gonna give it like 10 more minutes. I already have given it 20 extra minutes, so it's getting like a full hour in this thing. So we're just gonna do, we'll do eight. I think that's a good compromise. Not the full 10, but it was in here for 30 minutes and I'm giving it an extra 28. I am going to start on the glaze. So to make the glaze, I need a small saucepan. I I'm gonna go with this. I'm not gonna go with the saucepan. I'm gonna go with the pot. So you're going to include basically everything, which is the maple syrup, packed brown sugar, oat milk, rum, vanilla extract, and salt. And you're going to bring it to a boil and then reduce the heat to medium and allow it to cook until it's reduced by half, about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do that now. 
I'm gonna add all of that and I'll show you what it looks like in a second. So everything is combined. These are the ingredients for the pecan glaze. They are all in this little pan and I'm just gonna mix that all together, get it to that boiling point. And then once it is boiled, I will reduce to medium heat. So I'm gonna just bring this up to about eight, nine. It's in between eight and nine because I don't want that to like bubble over. And we have 30 seconds left. So I'm gonna take off the timer and I'm just gonna leave this out to cool. So I'm just gonna let that cool. That seems pretty good. And we're gonna focus on this glaze and get it done. So hopefully it looks like this. I don't know if it's gonna look exactly like that brown color, but we'll see. Ooh, it's already starting to boil. So I'm gonna bring that down just, no, I'm just gonna let it go. Cause it needs to, needs to boil. Guys, it came out really good. Oh my gosh. It's a little holy, which is freaking me out just a, t a tiny bit. Cause I hate, when you see holes like that. But this is amazing. And the glaze is coming out so good. It's getting thicker, which is nice. So I've reduced the heat quite significantly because it's starting to rise again, like you see right now. And I have to take it off so it doesn't rise too much because I don't want it to like spill um, essentially. But once this is done, I will add the toasted pecans to it and then drizzle it over and it's gonna look like this. Oh my gosh, I did it. So I'm gonna take this off before it overflows again. Cause I have it on four. So maybe I should just, no, I have it on two. So I just need to reduce it even more. Have it on low or something. I have added the pecans and honestly this looks so good i'm so excited to drizzle this over the bund cake it is just oh my gosh i'm so excited how it came out the glaze is not as thick as the photo as we see here but that's because I am heading to a dinner and I'm going to bring this to them hopefully they like it because it's kind of a surprise but there it is I made the butter pecan bunt cake and that is baking with jazz hope you guys enjoyed this vlog style all over the place style video if you have made it to the end of this video i would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that i am doing and comment down below say hi i say hi back and don't forget to stay kind stay true and stay laughing and i will see you guys in the next one bye